Hello, Sauté. How are you? Um, I hope all is well with you and your family. Um, I miss you. I miss giving you hugs. I miss teasing you. Um, and the next time I see you, I'm going to give you a big, fat, giant kiss. No, I'm just joking because I know you all think you're too old for kisses. Um, anyway, um, our youth pastor has asked each children and youth teacher to share with you uh, devotions weekly uh, or virtual devotions weekly until we see you physically. Um, the title of my devotion is Nothing is Impossible with God. And the reason why I chose this lesson is because I do understand um, being in the age bracket uh, 9 through 12, you all do experience things and you all go through different situations in life. Um, especially now, you know, we're in this pandemic and we're sitting at home, things go through our mind. We're seeing our parents pray. Um, we're seeing um, them pray to God to deliver us throughout through this pandemic. And I want you all to understand that he will and because nothing is impossible with him. And also, you can apply this lesson to your everyday life. Um, and when I say apply it, um, I mean when... When you were at school physically and you were facing all kinds of um, different things, such as um, tests, you may thought you may have thought that it was too hard for you to pass. Although you did study, although although all the I'm sorry, although you did your homework, although you listened to your teacher, but when it came down to that test, you're like, oh man, I don't think I can, I can, I don't think I can pass this test. Or when it came to the standardized testing, um, you may have thought this was too hard than your regular test that you take during school. Um, and you thought that was impossible to pass. Or if you faced a bully um, in, in the past school year, um, you may have thought, I'm going to get past this person. You know, this person continue to, you know, talk about me, um, do things, do nasty things to me. Um, how am I ever going to get past this? But I want to share with you that nothing is impossible with God. And with the right tools and the mastermind behind it, you will be able to get through life situations and life challenges. And I want to show you a small demonstration. And the demonstration is I do have an 8 by 11 paper. And with this 8 by 11 paper, I'm going to try to put this paper through my head. And basically make this paper go through my head all the way to my feet. And as you can see, I'm trying. But I'm not cheating because I can really go like this if I wanted to. However, I can't get this paper through my head. I can't. But like I shared with you, I'm going to show you with the mastermind and the tools behind this. And the mastermind being me because I know how to get that paper through my head. And I know the right tools to get that paper through my head. So it is with Jesus. Jesus is the mastermind behind all of this. He knows your ending from the beginning. So he knows that he can deliver you from that situation if you simply apply the tools that he gives us to our situation. So um, I'm going to share with you or I'm going to demonstrate that, um, that um, illustration that I have. And I also want to share with you two key scriptures um, that uh, applies to the lesson. The first lesson is Matthew 19, 26, and it says, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. The second key scripture is Mark 9, 23, and it reads, There is nothing too hard for God. And I want you to believe that in your heart, that nothing is too hard. Whatever situation you may be facing through the age bracket of 9 through 12, there is nothing too hard. And um, you can face you can face it. You can get through it. And I also want to share with you two stories um, that you may have heard or that you have heard. I'm pretty sure you heard it from your Sunday school teacher or your youth pastor, or even pastor, or your parents. And the first story is um, Jesus feeding 5,000. And with that, um, people thought that was impossible because he only had five loaves of bread and two fish. And it's like, Jesus, how are you going to feed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish? But he did. He turned an impossible situation to a possible situation. And the second story is, Lazarus, when he died, Martha questioned Jesus. 
Jesus, had you been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But Jesus came in his own timing. He knew that he was able to deliver Lazarus from the dead. He, he raised Lazarus from the dead. That was an impossible situation. I mean, how many people do you know rising from the dead in 2020? Anywho, so I want you to understand that nothing is impossible with God. And I want you to really apply that to your life and with the right tools. So with this 8 uh, by 11 paper, um, I have this 8 by 11 paper. And what I did is I folded the paper in half, as you can see. I folded the paper in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tool to get to show you how to get this paper through my head or through to you know make it through go through my whole body. So I'm just going to make slits from one end to the next end. Like this. Simply just cutting. Just cutting it through. And basically that's how Jesus works. If you apply the right tools that he gives us, and that's reading the word of God, that's listening to your youth pastor, that's listening to your pastor, that's listening to your praying to your uh, parents, and you're praying on a continuous basis. You can get through life just by using those basic tools. I promise you. So I'm basically doing applying the tools that was given to me, and I'm applying this to this eight by eleven paper. And once I'm done with that, I'm just basically going to cut the slits at the end of the paper. And I've done that. And voila, I'm being the eight by 11 paper through my whole body. As you can see, I turned a eight by 11 paper and made it to this. And it's going through my whole body. At, you see? It's going through my whole body. So me being the mastermind behind getting this paper through my body and using the right tools, you can do it too. You can pray. You can read the word of God. Listen to your youth pastor. Listen to your pastor. Listen to your parents. And apply what they tell you to your everyday life. And I promise you, you can get through life. And I also want to end with this for if you don't know what to pray for i want you to hold up your hand and apply the five finger prayer basically you take your thumb your thumb is closer to you so that prayer or whatever you're praying for you can pray for somebody that's closer that's close to your heart it can be your mom it can be your dad it can be your sibling your pointer finger is somewhere that's far away. It can be a distant cousin. It can be an aunt, an uncle that you rarely don't see. You can pray for them. The third finger is your middle finger. You can pray for your leader because that's the, the, the um, tallest finger. And that finger represents your leader. You can pray for your leader. You can pray for your youth pastor, your pastor, your president, or your local uh, government. You pray for them. The fourth finger is your ring finger. This finger can't stand alone. As you can see, if I try to put all my fingers down, the ring finger is not standing alone. And that represents someone that's weak or someone that's sick. So if you know someone that's ill um, or that's in a, a hospital or a nursing home, pray for them. The fifth finger is your pinky finger. And that's praying for someone that's little. It can be your, your friend at school, your cousin, uh, your classmate. Pray for them. So if you don't know what you, what you want to pray for or how to pray, apply that five-finger rule to your life. I love you and I miss you.